Hello, I'm here today to walk you through the specific steps needed for using the Intivio pen for subcutaneous use. But remember, your healthcare provider should show you how to use the Intivio pen before you use it for the first time. What is Intivio? For adult patients with moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis, UC, when other therapies have not worked well enough or cannot be tolerated. Safety considerations. Do not receive Entivio if you have had an allergic reaction to Entivio or any of its ingredients. Infusion-related and serious allergic reactions can happen while you are receiving Entivio or several hours after treatment. Entivio may increase your risk of getting a serious infection. Please see additional important safety information throughout this video. We'll be visiting Sam's house and Sam will be demonstrating the process while I lead you through the video. During this video, I'll cover these steps in three chapters, beginning with getting your supplies ready, then preparing to inject Intivio, and lastly, injecting Intivio. Okay, let's get started. So, what is the Intivio pen? It's a pre-filled pen designed to deliver an accurate, pre-measured dose of medication under the skin. Now let's get into the details on how to use the pen. Start by getting your supplies ready. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the Intivio pen box from its storage in your refrigerator. Intivio needs to be stored in a refrigerator, but if you're traveling, Intivio can be kept safely in its box at room temperature for up to seven days. Do not use the pen if it is past its expiration date. After removing the pen from the box in the fridge, wait 30 minutes and let the pen come to room temperature. You may want to set a timer or use your phone to set a 30-minute reminder. Also, don't try to warm the pen quickly or let the pen sit in direct sunlight. And don't take the pen out of its tray until you're ready to inject. You should gather these supplies on a clean, flat surface before your injection. You'll want some alcohol pads or cotton ball or gauze. And you'll also want a sharps container on hand to put your pen in after you've finished your injection. Now you can get ready to inject Intivio. First, you'll need to thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. Now, take the pen from the box and remember, don't use the pen if any of the seals on the box are broken or if the expiration date on the box has passed. Next, peel off the paper on the tray and then remove the pen. Don't shake the pen or remove the purple cap from the pen. Now you'll want to inspect the pen. The main things you're checking for here are the expiration date and the medicine in the pen window. The medicine should be colorless to pale yellow, and it is normal to see air bubbles. Don't use the pen if the expiration date on the pen has passed or if the medicine is cloudy or has particles floating in it. And you don't want to use the pen if any part of it is damaged. Now it's time to choose an injection site. If you're self-injecting, you can choose the front of your thigh or a place on your stomach. Just don't inject too close to your belly button. If you have a caregiver, they can help by injecting into the back of your upper arm. Be sure not to inject in the same spot of your last dose and avoid injecting into moles, scars, bruises, or skin that's tender, hard, red, or damaged. It's now time to clean the injection site with the alcohol pad. Don't touch or blow on the cleaned injection site before you inject. Be sure to let your skin dry before moving to the next step. Let's review how to inject Intivio. Note the purple cap. You want to pull it straight off and dispose of it in a sharps container right away. The needle is inside the yellow needle shield right there under the purple cap. Remember, do not put or press your thumb, fingers, or hand over the yellow needle shield. And don't put the purple cap back on because this could accidentally start the injection. Now you should hold the pen so you can see the viewing window. Then place the yellow end of the pen flat on your skin at 90 degrees to the injection site. And be sure not to push down on the pen until you're ready to inject. Now you're ready to start injecting Intivio. Push the pen straight down and hold for at least 10 seconds. You may hear a first click when the injection starts. You may also hear a second click. This is not the end of the injection. Continue holding the pen with constant pressure and watch the window fill with purple. The injection is now complete. However, when you lift the pen from the skin, you will see a small amount of gray in the viewing window, but this is normal. If the viewing window did not fill with purple, you may not have received your full dose. 
If this happens, call your pharmacy or healthcare provider. The yellow needle shield will drop down and lock over the needle. When you lift the pen, if the window has not turned purple or it looks like medicine is still coming out of the pen, you may not have received a full dose. If this happens, call your pharmacy or healthcare provider. You may also see a small amount of blood at the injection site. If so, press on your skin with a cotton ball or gauze. When it's time to throw away your Antivio pen, make sure you use an FDA-cleared Sharps disposal container right after use. Do not recycle or toss the pen in your household trash. Throw the remaining supplies in your household trash or Sharps disposal container. Most specialty pharmacies have Sharps programs that can help you access an FDA-cleared container, but you can also make your own safe disposal container. For instance, an empty laundry detergent bottle can be used. Just be sure to label it appropriately. Do not dispose of your used Sharps disposal container in your household trash unless your community guidelines permit this. We covered all of the steps, so you should be all set with instructions on how to use the Intivio pen for subcutaneous use. And remember, you can always watch this video again if you need a quick refresher. And if you'd like to find out more about resources and assistance that Intivio offers to help manage your treatment, including in-home injection training, visit intivio.com slash intivioconnect for more information. Important safety information. Do not receive Antivio if you have had an allergic reaction to Antivio or any of its ingredients. Antivio may cause serious side effects, including infusion-related and serious allergic reactions can happen while you are receiving Antivio or several hours after treatment. You may need treatment if you have an allergic reaction. Tell your healthcare provider or get immediate medical help if you get any of these symptoms during or after an infusion of Antivio. Rash, itching, swelling of your lips, tongue, throat, or face. Shortness of breath or trouble breathing, wheezing, dizziness, feeling hot or palpitations, feel like your heart is racing. Infections. Antivio may increase your risk of getting a serious infection. Before receiving and during treatment with Antivio, Tell your healthcare provider if you think you have an infection or symptoms of an infection, such as fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, shortness of breath, runny nose, sore throat, red or painful skin or sores on your body, tiredness or pain during urination. Progressive Multifocal Leukoencephalopathy, PML. People with weakened immune systems can get Progressive Multifocal Leukoencephalopathy, PML, a rare, serious brain infection caused by a virus. Although unlikely while receiving Antivio, a risk of PML cannot be ruled out. PML can result in death or severe disability. There is no known treatment, prevention, or cure for PML. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you have any of the following symptoms. Confusion or problems thinking. Loss of balance. Change in the way you walk or talk. Decreased strength or weakness on one side of the body. Blurred vision or loss of vision. Liver problems can happen in people who receive Antivio. Tell your healthcare provider right away if you have any of the following symptoms. Tiredness, loss of appetite, pain on the right side of your abdomen, dark urine, or yellowing of the skin and eyes, jaundice. The most common side effects of Intivio include common cold, headache, joint pain, nausea, fever, infections of the nose and throat, tiredness, cough, bronchitis, flu, back pain, rash, itching, sinus infection, throat pain, pain in extremities, and with injections under the skin, pain, swelling, or redness at the injection site. These are not all the possible side effects of Intivio. Call your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects. Before receiving Intivio, tell your healthcare provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you have or think you may have an infection or have infections that keep coming back, have liver problems, have tuberculosis, TB, or have been in close contact with someone with TB have recently received or are scheduled to receive a vaccine, or if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, plan to become pregnant, or plan to breastfeed. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, especially if you take or have recently taken Tysabri, Natalizumab, Tyruco, Natalizumab SCTN, a tumor necrosis factor, TNF, blocker medicine, a medicine that weakens your immune system, immunosuppressant, or corticosteroid medicine. Please see accompanying full prescribing information, including the medication guide for Antivio at antivio.com/pi, and talk with your healthcare provider. Antivio is available for 
Intravenous IV infusion, 300 mg vetalizumab. Subcutaneous SC injection, 108 mg vetalizumab. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. What is Antivio Vetalizumab? Antivio is a prescription medicine used in adults for the treatment of moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis, UC, moderately to severely active Crohn's disease, CD. It is not known if Antivio is safe and effective in children under 18 years of age.